You're on. Hi, Floss Tube. This is Kathy Roganella of Inspired Needle, and we're here. We're having a stitching night. It's Saturday, April 21st, and we have a couple ladies here. We're um, working on our little projects, and we thought we'd give you um, a look at what we're doing here tonight. And first, we have Jan, who's working on uh, Welcome Spring, actually. We're going to cover up your pattern. Sorry. She didn't get too far. Can, Debbie, can you... This is how far she's got. I'm not sure what that is. Eggs? Eggs. <laughs> Little eggs. <laughs> there we go. And then we have Carol, who's working. She has, can we spill the beans? Yeah. Wait, she has a new grandbaby on the way, and she's working on a project by, I don't even know who the designer is. Old. Old pattern from... Oh, no, 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 wrong one. 100 years ago. Okay. But anyway, it's for her new grandbaby, and it's going to say it's nap time. So Carol, tip yours up so you, they can see it. It's cute little blocks. Right now it says app time. App time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Doug, I want to get a picture of Techie yours. Techie baby. Because it will be after. Yours is awesome. Yours is from Heart String Samplery. This is um, her coffee Quaker. The one that says, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. And this is Debbie's progress. This is really pretty. Is this the one you just got last weekend? Uh, I think a week ago. Yeah, because we have the trunk show here at the shop, and she picked this up when she saw the model. And she is making blazing progress. And next is Guileen, and she's working on Sleep the Hollow from... Um, London place. Mm -hmm. That looks really cute. Which fabric is that? Is it the Stormy Night? I think it's the Stormy yes. Night. That's what you got in there, right? Yes. Okay, it that is. looks really good. Is this glow in the dark? Yes. Ooh, have you Ooh, tried? Turn off the yes. <laughs> it does glow in the it dark. It does glow in the dark. <laughs> did you go in your bathroom and turn I did. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Did you get scared? I did did nope. you get scared? <laughs> it did scare me, but it does glow, but not a huge glow. That's really cute. Oh, this yeah. is the horse's head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, and then last we have Pam, who is working on the Farmhouse Christmas series. And she's uh, currently on number three, Grandpa's Pickup. Just in time, because I think number four is going to be out next week. So. How now, brown cow? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's really uh, awesome progress. Very good. So that's all we're doing tonight, and I thank Debbie for being my camera woman here. Is there a way to pause it? We'll pause it, and then I'm going to go on the other. Hi, Floss Tube. This is Kathy Roganella of Inspired Needle, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the events we do in the shop. And I'd say for the last eight years, we've been heading, every spring, we head out east to Nashua, New Hampshire, to attend as a vendor at Celebration of Needlework. And this is an event that's been going on probably 20, 21, 22 years, something like that. And what happens is all the um, vendors that come, they set up a booth in a um, banquet space. And there's probably 12, anywhere from 12 to 20 vendors there. And we set up a booth. It takes us a couple days to do that. And then we open for business uh, to the general public. So, you know, you guys can come to this kind of event um, and, you know, shop to your heart's content. We have designers there, let's say Rosewood Manor, Old Colonial, um, these couple Italian designers will be there, Manny Di Donna, and um, not Nikki's Creations, Romy's Creations will be there. Um, I heard that Puntini, Puntini, she makes the little uh, buttons and some of the little wood pieces, um, stitchable wood pieces, that kind of thing, or needle minders, or hand, all hand painted, all beautiful, handmade. I heard she's going to be there. Um, I'm trying to think who else. JBW has been in the past. She's not going to be there this year. Um, Sue Hillis will be there. Or not this year. She was here last year. Um, but anyway, you can go to 
www.celebrationofnw.com to read a little bit more about it. The dates of um, the show this year are the 2nd, May 2nd, I'm looking at my calendar, May 2nd through May 6th. So this is, it's always, you know, the first weekend in May um, every year. And what's going to happen is Saturday we're going to head out. We're going to be in our van. The shop, I'm closing the shop. I take pretty much just about everything in my shop because, yeah, I mean, we have 30 foot of booth space to fill. So we take a lot of the stuff from the shop. And we pack it all into a van and drive on out, make the trek out there. It's an 18-hour drive, and so we split it up into two days driving. And in the past, what we've done is um, we've done it, we've driven there, unloaded, set up, worked for three days in a booth, packed it all up, and then headed home. And believe me, it's it's just too grueling it's too much work to do in such a short amount of time even though it's spread out over nine days it's still it's a lot to do so what we do is we leave a day early now and we pack in a day and a half of fun for us to it's kind of our reward for how hard we have to work but so we're going to be leaving the 28th of april and head bright and early heading out and we will end up somewhere about we'll hop on i-80 out of Chicago, 294 um, goes into I-80, and so we will probably stop in and around um, Mill Hall, Pennsylvania. So don't ask me where that is. It's, I think, more than halfway through Pennsylvania um, off the turnpike. So we're, we'll stop there for the evening spend a night, and then we'll continue on to our secret destination. I'm not sure where we're going this year, and I, I should say I, I do know where we're going, but I don't. Last year we went to Martha's Vineyard. We always try to pack in, like, one whole day of something fun. Um, we've been to Sturbridge Village. We've, we've done all kinds of fun little trips. Um, so possibly around Massachusetts area we're going to go. So... Um, you guys will just have to stay tuned, keep watching, and hopefully we'll work in a little bit of our trip there. I will try to film what I can. Um, okay, so what I want to show you today is I've been in the shop. It's a Saturday night. I just showed you what some of the ladies are working on, some of their projects. And so now I'm in the shop. And what I want to do is now we had the Kathy Haberman, Beth Seal were here a couple weeks ago. We had them for our spring seminar. And... Both of them left me models, and I am taking those models with me on the road to Celebration of Needlework, and I'm going to show you here what I do with those models. So here we have, um, I set up boards. This is the easiest way we found to make it work, rather than, because when you get there, you just have booth space. You have... Um, curtains, drapery curtains on poles basically, stainless steel poles or steel whatever and you have to try to decorate your booth then and make it look like something. So what we do, what we found is we got these boards and I'm going to come around and I'll show you, I'll kind of explain. They're made out of foam board. So it's foam board and we cover it with, they call it car headliner. It's I guess what you would feel um, the lining of your the top of the inside of your car on the roof part it's it's kind of um, velvety but velcro sticks to it very well so what we do is we velcro the backs of our I'll show you here on this one I don't know if you can see there's velcro here this piece is missing but we put the velcro on the back of the pictures back of the needlework this one's better to show you so here's four corners Here's our model. This is Caroline Berenger, uh, Beth Seal. But that's what we do. And then we stick it to the headliner and it stays. Um, it stays up. And yeah, this one's stuck on there pretty good. You can't get it off. These little pillows and things like this, um, these are pinned on. We pin them with straight pins um, so it can show the best because this whole board is going to be hanging from about eight feet high. And so 
that'll be hanging and then in front of it will be a table such as this you can't see the table yet but I'll show you uh, with merchandise on it we'll have the charts there the little maybe accessory packs there's a trim kit for these little uh, Christmas ornaments that'll be there we'll have you know whatever goodies we can show right below the models hanging and that's what will be on the table there and so now I'm in the process so this is the hands-on design board that I'm going to bring we bring about four of these boards um, that's about all we can fit into a minivan because it's got a slide in on the top we don't want to I wish we could stack it straight up but we can't we don't have that kind of room in a minivan although this year I am bringing a little bit bigger van um, but if I have to slide that in on the top what I do is I take the framed pieces off these trains. I'm telling you, I was watching the last video and how many times that train went by. I, no matter what time I'm, re I'm filming here or recording, the train comes through town. But anyway, um, that's just part of life in Lamont. We're really, we're about two blocks from the train station. So, um, the, so what we'll do is we'll take all the heavy framed pieces off. We'll, we'll stack those nicely in a box and then we'll just leave the pillow. The time consuming things to do at a show are pinning items up. So that's why we try to do it. I'll get my labels ready um, for, I'm going to pick this up this way. Well, I'll get the, the labels up and we'll, I'll mark the each model separately so we know what it's called so people when looking at it will know what it's called. Okay, here we are again. Um, I was telling you about a project that, well, you didn't know I was talking about a project, but Beth Seal, a couple years ago, and I want to look, um, it's right here. She came out with a piece called the Calico Sampler. Oops, there you go. And it's the alphabet with um, a side border here. So A, B, C, all the way through Z, and I loved it. I fell in love with it. I loved everything about it. I love the colors. I love the fabric. And, but the whole thing was 26 letters, no way. I don't, I don't have a lot of time to stitch as it is. And so for me to do 26 letters, uh, no. So what I decided to do was stitch the name of the shop, Inspired Needle, and put it on, um, I was thinking about framing it, but then I thought, you know, I do all these shows. I go to a celebration, I do Needlework Galleria, and it's like, wouldn't it be nice when I do these little things to have the name of the shop in a banner of some sort that I could hang at, at these events, and instead of just like a, a stenciled name or something, whatever we get. And so that's what I said about doing. And it took me a couple years to do it because... Number one, I don't have a lot of time to stitch. And number two, I was trying to to fit in, think of what I was going to put because Inspired is two spaces bigger than Needle. So I had two spaces on either end. I centered Needle under Inspired. It's like, what am I going to put in those little corners? And I thought, oh, I could put the year that um, I incorporated, which was uh, 2008. So I put in EST on the one square and then 2008... And I had a, Beth didn't, in, in the chart, she didn't include small letters. She had the small numbers, but she didn't include small letters. So I had to, like, wing it and make them up myself. And I hesitated, and, and I put it away for a couple of years because it's like, I'm never going to figure out how to do this. And I didn't have the patience to sit down and chart it. And then finally I just said, you know, enough is enough. I've waited long enough. I'm just going to do it. And I did, so I, I finally finished it, and then it's like, what do I do? Do I frame it? Do I make a banner? Do I? And I came across a most wonderful finisher, Snowberry. I shouldn't say this because she's going to be inundated with, <laughs> with um, work, but Snowberry Needle Arts. Um, and she does beautiful work with uh, wool and she does a lot of applique work on top. She just she customizes it and it's It is so beautiful when it's done. And so I want to show you What she did for me and guys, I'm telling you I was blown away when I saw this so let me reach over here 
and I will show you what Miss Rita did for me. And so here, this is the back of the banner. So it's a piece of wool felt, and you can see this is, um, she mounts the needlework on, uh, on a board, but that's on the other side. And then she put it, she made these little tabs. I mean, this, guys, this is all hand sewn on here, okay? There's no, like, sewing machine here. She does it all by hand, all this little um, buttonhole stitch around the edges. Okay, so here, I'll show you at the top before I show you the whole thing. She does these little uh, wool penny things on each of the medallions. These are the colors in this piece. And I'm telling you guys, it is just wow. Okay, so here is my inspired needle. That's my stitching. There's the EST. And there's 2008, but look at what Miss Rita did. She added this beautiful little wool penny garden down here. Look, at she's got a little needle going through. She has the little blue threads running through like it's coming out of the piece. I mean, is that not absolutely gorgeous? I mean, I love it. She did such a nice job. I'm, I'm telling you guys. If you want a special project that no one else will have, this is, I mean, this is one of a kind. First of all, it's because it's the name of my shop, but because the way she finished it. I mean, it is, look at that work in there. The way she did those little pennies, little flowers. I mean, each one embroidered. She cut out all these little leaves, all these little pieces right on top. I can't tell you how long this must have taken her to do, but I'm telling you, if you ever have a chance, Snowberry Needle Arts, just ask her to do what she thinks is best. And she will, I mean, this is what I did. I sent her my piece and I didn't give her any idea. I just said I want a wall hanging and this is what she came up with. So, okay, now that I showed you that, um, I think going forward, all this week is going to be um, dedicated to getting ready for celebration. I have, I'm really nervous. I have five, six days to finish getting ready. I have to pack. I have to get all my thoughts organized as to what's going to happen. And um, I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. I just hope that, um, so you get a little glimpse into everything that goes in behind the scenes for getting ready for a show like this. And I hope you enjoy the process. It's going to be fun. So um, you'll see it probably little video clips from now during the whole week it's going to be a bunch of them kind of like our last uh floss tube video was a bunch of little scenes all spliced together i'm going to do the same thing with this so you'll see as we're packing and putting stuff together how the thought process that goes into it so okay we will see you in the next round thanks bye bye Hi Floss Tube, this is Kathy Roganella of Inspired Needle, and we're here to show you kind of a little bit of what happens at Salvation Needlework. We're here, we drove, I have no idea how many miles, 2,000 miles, from Chicago area to Nashua, New Hampshire. We made a couple pit stops along the way, and maybe I'll um, stick some pictures in there if I get a chance, but I want to show you our booth. We have a 30-foot booth set up. And we have a couple trunk shows, and my camera woman is panning the booth. And then I'll take you through and I'll show you individually, um, little by little, each section of the whatever the designers' models that we have. So come along this way as soon as my camera woman comes back. Here we have our threads. We have Classic Color Works, Week Style Works. Oops, stay kind of close, I think, for the thing. Up uh, ahead, we have our heartstring sampling models. V is for Valentine, B is for Beekeeper, M is for Mermaid. Over here, we have our gentle art threads. On the floor, we have some Lady Dot finishing packs. We have our NPI threads, also in these little um, tool, tool cases over here. The NPIs lay in there. And we have our silks, our, our Gloriana silks. We have Belle Soie from Classic Color Works. We have all kinds of little stitchy gadgety things. Q snaps, floss away bags. Better move this so you don't fall. I'll try to go slow. So. Here we have our heartstring samplery um, 
models and those you saw at my shop so it's nothing new we we've had them for a while they were hanging in the shop now they're hanging here at celebration we have a few models from the shop also it, it mixed in among with our heartstring samplery models she has her fobs stitching festive fobs we have valentine festive fobs springtime festive fobs and all of her little pillows Fairy Coffee Mother, this is the Gobbler, this is all the pretty flowers. Here's all her charts lined up. We're expecting a big crowd, so we're prepared here. A couple little tchotchkes, now we're moving into the um, hands-on design Summer House Stitchwork models. You can see those, Kathy's um, Christmas, white Christmas ornaments. Oh, and there's my, I showed you a little bit of that, that beautiful piece that uh, Snowberry Needle Arts did for me. Um, here is some more of Bess for her uh, Fragments in Time, the Velveteen. We have fabric cuts. Oh, there's those little bunnies again. Here she's got the finishing kit for the Sarah Jane Grant. Now we move in here. Oh, sorry, we took down one piece. Just It's heavy and we don't want it to fall down, so we took it down for now. These are um, Beth Seals pieces. You've seen those before at the shop. Those They were there. We have her charts on a little spinner, hands-on design, and summer house. More summer house set up. Um, these are Kathy's models, the chalkboard models that her collaboration with Priscilla. Laundry, the never-ending cycle. We have a few little Lizzie Kate things here, um, just because, you know, their last hurrah. So I just brought, I figured someone might be interested in those. Um, we brought, of course, Brenda Gervais is always very pos uh, popular, so we brought those along. We have um, this, the schoolhouse, summer schoolhouse, and Debbie, who is here with me um, exhibiting this weekend. This is her model of the summer house, summer schoolhouse. She hasn't put it together yet, but she's there. Now, one that you haven't seen at the shop is Sue Hillis. We have all her uh, models, her snowmen, or Santa not snowmen or <laughs> Santa's and she has her count twice stitch once all her little um, stitches for the needleworker charts I think that's what those are called um, we have a little bit of shepherd's bush here we have a stand with some more Sue Hillis flat folds this is a new rack for us we've never used this rack before um, we put all our lakeside linens on here so by size 28, 32, 36, and 40, so people can find it easier. These are our spinners with some of our model charts on there. And here's another one. And then here we have our gadget spinner at the show. So we have um, trims, thread, thread hops, we have thread winders, we have needles, we have pins. I mean, you name it, we've got it on here. And then right in the very center, we have our Picture This Plus fabric, all sizes. Here we have our r, &R Reproductions fabric, Weeks Dye Works fabric. Let's move to the front. There's all kinds of stuff here around to the front. Um, some Abbey Rose pineapple sewing boxes are left over. This is a little Blackberry Lane piece. This was a retreat piece, but we have a few kits extra, so we put that there. Uh, we have our Lolo. We always bring Lolo bar. This is a moisturizer. We have a few of these scissor blocks left over from La Dida for Market. Buttons, pins, Farm Fresh. This is going to go with the Farm Fresh pattern over there. And that's about it. And I will thank you for coming along with us. Um, we're gonna try to do a little bit of recording throughout the weekend so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like to come to Celebration of Needlework. If you've never been here before, it's a great time. It's May, uh, today, May 2nd through 5th. So come along and maybe next year you'll be able to come yourself. Thanks, bye FlossTube. Hi, this is Kathy Roganell again. Um, we are at day one, on day one, sorry, Friday um, of Celebration of Needlework, and I have a big surprise to share with you. I am, was checking out uh, my, with my customers. We had a long line. It was really busy. You can kind of pan around. 
and see, although it's kind of calmed down quite a bit. But I look up and I'm recognizing this one customer and I'm like, I know you. I'm like, I could have put two and two together why I knew this person, but look, she's right here. Andy, Nana's Needles, the little floss tube friend. I watched her, I watched her video, and she told me she watched mine, so that's very exciting. She's here shopping. Um, I don't know what other books you've been in, if you've been around. I it's been so much fun coming in and meeting you, and we have several mutual friends, yes. so they wanted me to talk to you about certain things, and so yes. it's been a lot of fun. So. Yes. And she's fun looking so good. Yes, and she got a haircut, yes. as you can see. Yes. I don't know what it's getting warmer. <laughs> and she lives um, not too far away, so that's, I don't know why I thought she was down in Virginia. And I didn't have, um, I didn't think that she would be here. I never put two and two together, but she's here, and now I'm going to watch for her. I want to hear what she comes from. This is my second year. And it's a fun time. It's a different environment than Galleria, but it's still kind of the same. Okay. And there's still, there's still plenty of things to do. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Right. It has been a lot of fun. You're staying overnight? Oh, yeah. We've been here since Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Oh, so shopping, go sit down and stay. Yeah, shop, go sit down. And she just had to come back in to buy another pair of scissors. Another pair of scissors. So she's going to be a commission. You have a whole collection for your next cluster. That is true. Okay. Well, okay. Thanks for stopping in. We'll, we'll catch up with you later. Sounds good. Bye. Okay, today is Saturday, May 5th, and we are back in business here in our booth. I'll give you a pan of the booth here. We have silks, we have all the um, gentle art threads, we have weeks, dye works threads, and then of course, classic color works. A pan up, we have a little farmhouse Christmas display. Everything that has been stitched so far. Here we go, the uh, heartstring samplery, Valentine, Beekeeper, and Mermaid. Now come down here, we'll pan across. We have some pegboard set up with um, our stitched beautiful bags. Gloriana silks, Belle Soie. We have some hand aids. Of course, little accoutrement, um, floss away. That's all that's left of our hoops. We had a lot more. Wow, Q snaps got wiped out. And then this you've seen at the shop already, the models. Okay, we have some customers here. We're going to pan. You can see um, I'm going to sneak around them. We have some ladies. I'm going to sneak around this way. We're going to go to, there's Erica Michaels booth. Um, she's got her thing set up beautifully. Sorry, my finger just keeps popping in there. Oh, there's you can see a little sneak peek of Rosewood Manor's booth. Okay, so here's the rest of mine. Um, two spinners of patterns. I'll get in there later for the Sue Hillis. We have down here in front, we have fabric, picture this plus, week's dye works. We have our little Lolo bars, um, just another button button packs, pin sets, a lot of cute, cute things. Little Nikki's Creations display. We had a lot of these little tart tins set up here. Um, and actually, I brought it thinking for the Plum Street tarts, but um, Blackberry Lane Designs is here, and she has a design set in the tart. Here's my Frosty Weather pattern with the fabric and the pattern. There's some more. We have a few left of these pineapple sewing boxes from Abbey Rose. I'll see if I can get a shot there. A few little things left here, left over from Market. A couple of these Lottie Da Fractor blocks. There's the Lolo. This is a cute little needle print and play. It comes with, um, there was my finger again, sorry. Comes with the perforated paper. And then inside, there's all your buttons on the pattern. Um, little Lolos, we have, this is all we have left of our Bowen uh, tape measures. There I said the fabric, more fabric. Here's our little spinner with more little tchotchkes on it, buttons. 
needles, all kinds of needles that you could possibly want. We have some glasses left here, scissors, lots of scissors, although these are kind of picked over already. It, it, oh, and then here's trims. Let me show you that. We have some Kelmscott um, Mother of Pearl items. These are very popular, these thread drops. What's nice about these is when you're doing a project, you just loop your um, floss onto these, and then you can write on the little space there. A um, few little needle minders left. DMC, we have some little um, wax waxers. We have lots of trims on the bottom. I, th I think those are still left there because people are not seeing them, maybe. Um, more fabric. We have the zappy dots, the needle minders, all kinds of cool little things. Of course, our r, &R and Weeks Dye Works fabrics. Okay, now I'm going to pan around this way. We have some customers over there. This is our Sue Hillis um, display. Got some cute little flat folds there. Um, these are all her like stitches for the needle worker. Uh, this was a class piece. This one here was a class piece at Galleria last year and I believe here at Celebration last year. Alphabet en blanc. Um, of course, Sue is known for all her adorable little halloween -y pieces. We have that. She has a nice collection of Santas. There's like a bell pool Santa. Oh, this is one of her newer ones. This is um, Mary Noel. These are some Santas and she's finished them adorably. Flat fold or a stand up or like a cute little bag. Um, these, she has little spools. Aren't these darling? Look at this. She has them so, so cute. Little ornament hanging. And she has them displayed in a cute little tin. There's some more flat folds. We have lots of sleds. Our sled pattern, Summer School House. Oh, this was Debbie's here. We'll start up here. That's part one of Summer School House by Brenda Gervais. There's part two, The Man and the Woman. Part three, part four, and that was the little extra for the horn book. Um, do I have a horn book? I think back here. Yeah, we have a few horn books left um, that go with this. We'll put that in front. I think we're pretty much picked over with our patterns. Um, and these you've seen at the show. Oh, you didn't see these. These are the little um, sled ornaments, Halloween sled ornaments. That's our little intruder piece by, um, oh, why can't I draw a blank? Jardin Privé. This is a cute little necklace. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's got a weird light on it. It's a um, little bird blue necklace kit. They come in these. Everything's self-contained in there. I think it's how much? Ten dollars. That adorable. And it, my friend Debbie stitched it, and she said she put it together. Let me see if I can zoom in this way. She said she put it together in like an hour, or stitched it in an hour, and then put it together. Okay, there's some Shepherd's Bush sled kits, more um, velveteen, cute little box that goes with the Shepherd's Bush design, some more Brenda Gervais patterns, of course Lizzie Kate, our cute little ornaments here, the love, so many darn cute things. This was our version of the Hats Off to Uncle Sam. We just put it in that um, Lone Elm Lane, this little uh, pin cushion base. And you've seen all of Kathy's models here, all the chalkboards, her laundry. She has a new laundry pattern out. I'll, sk I'll show it to you if I can see. There's the chalkboard. I'm going to scooch around. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is These are Beth's patterns. Let's flip this around. There's Kathy's new lawn, laundry pattern. Loads of fun. That's part two in the laundry series. They're so cute. And she has it shown like that, but I think it would be cute too if you put all three pieces in one wide frame and then hung them off the clothesline like three little things hanging. Oh, there's Beth's piece again. Beautiful. Part two is just coming out. That's this middle piece here, part two. Part one over here is already released. Oh, there's some sneak peek of her new fragments. 
that are available. Okay, and I'm going to walk, pan across here. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to come around Natalie. Okay, here's Erica Michaels. I'm going to look at her booth. Got some beautiful pieces here. She has some adorable little designs. Look at these beautiful berries. Oh my gosh, don't you want to just like scoop them all up? You want to stitch them all. There's the 12 berries of Christmas. She's got some new ones. Sweet Freedom Berry, that's a new one. Sampler berries. They have the silk. The smaller ones are done on the silk gauze. The bigger ones are done on linen. Isn't that beautiful? The peacock party. Sorry if there's like shadows. Those gorgeous honeybees. Hollyberry. And all these are available at your local shop. If you don't have a local shop, we can help you out. Here's Mary Havens. This comes at, um, it's a sampler. This is the sampler, the Mary Havens. Let me get back here. And then she's got these little smalls that go with it. Just gorgeous pieces. Berries, and then you've got the pin wheel and a little fob. Here's Nancy Alden. Some of her little, little, little accessory pieces. Nancy's sewing necessaries, and then that is the big sampler that goes with the set, the Nancy Alden sampler. And of course, Eric, oh, it stopped. Oh no, it's still going, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry guys. <laughs> I don't know how to like do this. Okay, there's a little mat on wool felt, isn't that pretty? Um, these are more patriotic pieces. Little drum. Isn't that gorgeous? Consider the lilies. This is her new release. Is it okay that I'm showing this? Okay. I just asked Linda's permission, so this is her new release. And there's random. These are some older pieces. You can see that one. Cherish, memory, love. Isn't that beautiful? These are all silk gauze, but she does a lot of them where um, you're able to stitch on the linen also. So like here is your Beach Blessing. She calls them the classics. So that's the classic. And then Beach Blessing, you can see right next to it, the little piece on the silk gauze. Isn't that precious? Here's another little um, beachy piece in here by the sea. Oh, look at that. Did good. 20 bucks. Sold out. Okay, so we are going to go. I was hoping we could talk to Linda for a minute. That's Linda there on the left. We'll see if we can get her later. She's got, um, she's showing how, oh, here's another little chart. The little flock. Isn't that pretty? Look at those little sheep. They're adorable. Okay. Oh, it comes with you can buy just the pattern or it comes with the uh, finishing kit you can see in there. And it's got the the whale shaped uh, board. Let me see if I can get it here. It's, it has this board and then it has your wool felt. I think there's wool felt that it rests on and then the twine around it. It's really, really sweet piece. Yeah, you've got this on the back and I, woo, sorry. I'm not sure what's inside there. Maybe just the board. Okay. Oh, it has the wool, yes, and burlap, and wonder under fusible webbing. And here she's showing you how easy it is to stitch on linen. Or sorry, on the silk gauze. I can't even talk now. And here's the difference. The forty. This is pretty. Sisters and friends. Isn't that beautiful? These are new releases. Your shop should be able to get them. Okay, I'm going to zip over here to Rosewood Manor's booth. Look at the beautiful bell pool. See what you guys miss when, if you don't get out to the, some of these events. I know it's expensive to come, but it's a place, I mean it's expensive because you're here in a hotel, but maybe, you know, if you had a couple friends and you're sharing a room, you know, you take a $100 room, I think that's about what their going rate is here 
this weekend. It's about 100, 120 maybe. But if you get three or four people to share a room, it's really kind of, of, of yeah, I can't talk, kind of affordable. And you can share expenses. You don't have to eat really pricey. You know, there's plenty of fast food options around here. The hotel offers a good sandwich and chips for, I don't know, under $10. So it's not, it's not a bad option. There's Karen right there in the middle, and the, she just turned around. That's Karen Kluba of Rosewood Manors. There's her husband, and he um, comes with her to the show sometimes. Dennis. Um, those are her beautiful. I'm going to try to get out of there. There's too many people right now. I'm going to try to move on down the road. And these are people that you'll see at Galleria, too. Karen comes to Galleria, and also, we call them the boys. The boys from Needleworkers Delight. They're brothers. And I guess it's a... I don't know all the details, how long they've been in business or anything. That's something I need to find out, because they're a lot of fun. They do. They have a shop in New Jersey, and they do a lot of fun things. I saw they had, like, little pajama parties, and... Um, Something fun, stuff that I should look into doing for Inspired Needle. Here's some beautiful, look at these gorgeous samplers. Look at that one. Oh, just beautiful. Oh, Shakespeare's Peddler. That's, I'm recognizing him now. Kitten Stitcher, look for her. She's coming to uh, Galleria. Those of you that watch. I'm like, I know these spanners, but they're not, they weren't named or labeled. And so I recognize them. I don't know who these are. These are not Shakespeare's Peddler. That one is down there. This one, this one also might be Teresa's. Um, and Anne Grant. Oh, look, isn't that gorgeous? Jenny Bean sampler. Okay. This is, I recognize it. Oh, I can't remember who this is. These are cute. Oh, I know who this is, and I can't think of their name, too. They're very prim little design company. Threadwork primitive patterns. Do you mind them videoing this? No? Okay. <laughs> I'm telling them all about your shop. I'm like, all oh, the fun things that you do. The pajama parties. <laughs> Who? I can't remember her name. All through the night, that's it. And these are? Those are some all through the night and then Cricket Collection after that. Cricket, okay. There we go. There's Cricket Collection. Wow, look at that huge one up there. Beautiful samplers. I'll give you the shot of this. We should have an event at Galleria, like a pajama event. There's one of the brothers. <laughs> Needleworkers Delight, there we go. And the third member is not here. She's at home. See, they, how do you say that? Your city. We live in Colonia, but our shop's in Potential. Okay, I can't pronounce that, so we'll just let her do it. <laughs> there's some beautiful patterns. Good to see you, too. Little Chatelaine, unfortunately, Martina recently passed, so we will miss her and her beautiful designs. All kinds of, they have all kinds of fabrics here. Look at this beautiful. They, they're also the home of silk weaver fabrics, as you can see. They're silk weaver. So, these are the boys you want to contact if you need um, some overdyed fabrics. Look at these beautiful collars. Wouldn't it be nice to come and just touch? Well, maybe not touch so much, but just see how beautiful they look. Look at all that. 
Oh, Sue Hillis looks like she's coming to Needleworkers Delight. So, there you go. If you want to see some Sue Hillis. Oh, that was Barbara. That was Queenstown Sampler Works. That beautiful sampler. Okay, I'm in the way here. I'm going to move. Excuse me. There's more beautiful fabrics. Look at that. Okay, this is getting quite lengthy, so I'm going to pause it for now because I'm sure my cohorts in my booth are um, wondering where the heck I went. I'm just like traveling around and that I've left them. I've abandoned ship. Oh good, we don't have a huge light. Oh my gosh, see? Okay, our register is way down there. You can kind of see, I'll see if I can point right, oh there's Pam, you can't see her. She's right back there, that's Pam. That was, that's where our register is. So yesterday our line extended all the way back here. They were wrapping around this corner. It was just unbelievable. All day long, it, we never really even had a break. It was just a long line all day long. But we thank everyone that came out to visit us. There's some more um, booths down there. I'll try to get down there later. This is Jackie Duplice's booth. It's finally finished. Oh my goodness. You guys talk about drool. I'll give you like a quick little uh, view through here. Look at these beautiful pieces. And I know I'm going fast, but she's got a whole bunch of um, retired pieces. She has some more beautiful, gorgeous pieces in there. You can see. Look at these little pin cushions. Oh my gosh, all these little vintage pieces. Look at the box. Shaker box. She has a lot of beautiful pieces. Let's come back down here. Look at that. Got some beautiful little lace pieces. And I have to show you girls. Girls and guys, sorry. Um, it's what I call my my friends. Hey girls, and I'm used to saying that all day long. Look at she's got some more beautiful pieces. Pineapple kit. But I don't want to hog things. I'll show you the sneak peek. You will see that piece in my shop. In my shop because I just bought it. Well, I didn't buy it. I bought it yesterday. I haven't paid for it yet, but it's mine. I told her. I want it. I'm taking it. Love it. Okay, look at these scissors. I know you've seen pictures. Look at these. they handmade by this Mr. Roulet, Rouleau in France. $450. Look at these scissors. Are they fabulous or what? They're all handmade, hand um, forged by him. Or do you want me to write the check for that one? Oh, no, I want to Even the case is magnificent, okay. how they do that. They're just beautiful. I know. And Jackie said on one of these pieces, she did, uh, one of these scissors, she designed a piece to go with it. Oh, look at the little cake in there in the dish. Look at these beautiful carriers. Those are beautiful. We're going to get a little, oh, that one, that JP Coates. My friend Pam, oh, it's not focusing very well. My friend Pam, who travels with me, she bought that one. I have a lot of people mad at me that wanted it. But there we have old Colonial Designs booth. I'll try to get down there later, or maybe tomorrow when it's not so crazy busy. There's Jeanette Douglas. Oh my gosh, she has, it's not focusing. She has a lot of beautiful pieces in her booth too. So, But I'm going to leave you for now and go back. Go back to um, help my friends so they don't get mad at me <laughs> and think that I've abandoned them. There's Debbie at the register, PM helping her. Okay, and the lighting is kind of getting goofy. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to stop. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm back. Uh, I just want to do a little follow-up. Uh, celebration has come and gone. We're back home. The shop is pretty much put back together. Um, but I just wanted to follow up. I apologize. I didn't. We we were so hectic um, at the show. It's a long drive out there, then the setup, and then the selling. The you know two and a half days, three days basically of selling. Um, tear it all down. The drive home. The unpacking. Once we get back to the shop, and I apologize. We didn't do as much recording as I had wanted to. 
but since my return I have discovered that um, well you saw my little interview with Nana's needles with Andy mm -hmm. um, so she her latest video talks a little bit about celebration and the fun she had and some of the haul that she picked up and also Abby Bella stitch um, she went around and recorded everyone's booth that was there so uh, if you want to get a little better view of what's kind of happening um, at Celebration, just go ahead, check out their videos. And also, I will, after this little excerpt here, I'm going to go ahead and put some pictures, some stills in there from Celebration, whatever I was able to capture. Um, but we will hopefully see you again um, next year at Celebration. Thank you to everyone that came. We had a, a blast it's always a lot of fun and you know you get to it's like old home week you go there I guess it is like the designer say for market that you know they get to visit with all their friends that's how we feel we get to visit with all our friends we get to see the same people that we only see maybe once a year sometimes twice a year um, it is a lot of fun but before I go um, it's all I don't want it to be always just about the shop and this and that I I wanted to share some of the things that we do around here um, my sister Nancy, who you met on previous videos, she is my, um, she does stitch. She works for me uh, part-time. She stitches. She does a lot of stuff around the shop that um, makes it possible for me to do all the things that I do. But I wanted to show you some of the things um, that she has done. She's doing the Farmhouse Christmas series for us, and I wanted to show you the different ways that we've stitched it. I should say she stitched it um, and some of the different linens we do we're doing all of them on 36 count linen um, because I want a small little ornament and we're gonna each one is on a different color and so I'm gonna show you the pattern and then I'll show you the stitching so the first one is the little red barn and this is our version of it 36 count isn't that sweet it's a, I don't know if you can see the little sparkle in it yeah, there we go. We get it caught by the by the light. So that's really sweet. I love how the colors pop on that blue. Next is um, Horsin' Around. This is what um, Little House Needleworks version is. And ours is done on a week's. I believe it's Coco 36 count. So sweet. Okay, and then the last one we she's currently working on number four, Dairy Darling, but that one's not finished yet. And then the last one is Grandpa's Pickup. And we did ours on Summer Khaki. And I love how the white just really pops out on there. So cute. And I wanted to get a few of them stitched so I could see what they look like together. And then I'm going to take them. I'm going to wait till she's done with number four. And then I'm going to go to the fabric store and I'm going to pick out a fabric that kind of will coordinate with all of them. Uh, some other things that we stitch in the shop. Um, now, mind you, it's not me that's stitching because um, I'm usually working. But um, this is the Country Cottage Snow Place Like Home series. I'm only showing you part number five because you'll kind of get the idea when I show you the stitched piece. But this is um, the series. There's five parts to it. And so now you have an idea. This is the pattern. And here is our piece that we did. We did it um, on, oh, I don't know if I can, you can get the whole thing in here. We did it on a picture of this plus, and I knew I was going to forget something. Um, I wanted to get it, pick up the name oh, of this fabric. It's, it's an opal fabric, opalescent, and I don't know if you can see the sparkle in there. We like the sparkly fabrics, um, but that one's really cute. We put a green suede mat around it to kind of make it a little different, so it's not so Christmas, it's more wintry. And then we framed it in a white frame, so this is uh, Country Cottage Needleworks, Snow Place, Like Home, all five parts. Okay, there's that. Um, Another piece that we have done for the shop, again, Nancy has stitched it. She's like, I can ask her just about anything. Hey, Nance, uh, what do you think about this one? And she'll get all excited about it and say, yeah, yeah, I'll stitch it. So <laughs> I have ulterior motives. She's a good stitcher, and she's a fast stitcher. And it's hard to believe that she really never stitched. I've had my shop, this is my 10th year, and she 
never stitched prior to my shop. She took a class here. I remember she was so frustrated. She never stitched on linen, never stitched on Aida, um, and she took a class and kind of had a hard time in the class, but then once she got her glasses adjusted and really worked with the magnifier, um, she has not looked back. You would be amazed at some of the things she's done, and I'll show you some of those later. But this one, too, and I'm sorry, I looked for the pattern. I don't know. We came back from Celebration, and it's floating around here somewhere. We haven't unearthed it yet. But this is by um, Abby Rose Designs, and it is called Yuletide on Thistle Hill. And oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. And the minute we saw it, I was like, oh, I want to do this for a shop model. So uh, Nancy said she would be willing to do it, and she did a really pretty job on it. It's really beautiful. Okay, there's that. And um, one thing that has been near and dear to my heart, I do stitch from time to time. You saw my calico sampler that took me probably five years to do. Um, but I'm also working on this. This came out uh, 2014, so four years ago, um, by by the Bay Needle Art, and it's a 12-part series. So I'm just going to flip through the parts real quick. Here's part two. Here's part three. That's called Serenity, Serenity Harbor. Um, there's part three. Here's four. I should have gotten a whole picture for of all of them together. This is five, six, part seven. Yes, it's a really long skinny sampler. Part eight, part nine, part ten. Part 11, and I love the whole New England look, all those little houses, the little salt bike box houses, and part 12. And we changed the colors up a bit on this. Um, and I, because it's all, it's charted all in DMC, but I wanted to use a little bit of variegated uh, thread, so we changed some gentle, to gentle art, classic color works. Uh, Weeks Dye Works, but I'm going to show you my version. I started, you know, since I've been floss tubing, watching everybody, and I just, I, you guys inspire me so much, um, and it makes me want to stitch, and I just wish I had more time, but um, I steal every little minute I can. So this is my, I'm on part five, and I chose a blue, it's called Little Boy Blue, it's on a 25 count Lugana, and I'm stitching it over one thread. So the white, these, these little birds here uh, don't show up very well, but maybe I'll backstitch them, I'm not sure, but that, I didn't want that to deter me, because um, I just love this piece so much. And I think if it will be my lifetime goal to go ahead and finish this piece, I'm going to see if I can't get this a little bit closer so you can see how just gorgeous this is. This, the green, the um, the water here, that's all in DMC, but you know, a lot of this is variegated. This is, I think, some Weeks Dye Works, a lot of this also. And so, I can't, I can't say that, that I'll get it done anytime soon, but I will enjoy every single minute of it. I just love this piece so much. So if this is the only thing I stitch for the rest of my life, I will be happy. But I know that's never going to happen because I have all kinds of things I love to stitch. So, um, and now for the main reason, after the class, and I didn't get it in last video, but after the class, or no, actually during our meet and greet, when Priscilla and Chelsea were here with Kathy Haberman and Beth Seal, and we were, it was the night before our class, I asked the two gals, Priscilla and Kathy, if they would autograph um, the latest, the Chuck, um, what is it, the Fresh Fresh Eggs Farm, that was the first release in their uh, Chuck on the Farm series. And so both of them did autograph them. I have 
three copies. There's one. That's Kathy Priscilla's signature. There's number two. And number three. So I'm going to do a giveaway. And I'm sorry that this has taken so long. Um, it just things get in the way. But I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm going to draw for three winners. So I need you to answer a question. Um, I guess try to guess what another farm might be. And you can be crazy too. Um, maybe you'll give Priscilla some ideas when she draws the next uh, farm. I don't know if they collaborate on that. I'm not sure if they collaborate ahead of time what the farm is going to be, like the, the newest one, the bee farm, queen bee farm. Uh, I don't know if they sit there and guess, but why don't you just guess a name of a farm that you would like to see, and who knows, maybe, I don't know if Priscilla or Kathy watch my videos, but um, maybe you'll give them a good idea if they scroll through and uh, see some of the the comments. Who knows, maybe there could be Easter egg farm or something, although there was an egg farm already, or I don't know, radish farm or something silly like that. But you guys are more creative than I am, so go ahead, I will draw from, let's see, Let's. I'll just give you guys um, two weeks, today's the 22nd, I don't know what is that in two weeks, let's say two weeks from the 22nd. So it's we're already into June and I can't think that far ahead into my calendar, but I will then draw a winner. I'll announce it on the next video who the winner is. I'll try to get a hold of the winner. Um, but go ahead and leave your comment, like my video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and I will go ahead and pull three winners. And that's all I have for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching all the little snippets. And thanks for putting up with our little kind of crazy splicing together of videos. But we're having a lot of fun doing this. And hopefully uh, next video we'll get Nancy back here um, to kind of talk to you a little bit more. And show you some other new things around the shop. Thanks. And we're signing out. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.